Hello and welcome. So this is part two of my little review, assembly, build up of the current MPC round two Space 1999 Conlock and stun gun kits. Uh, at this point, the models have been assembled, painted, and look great. So here's the Comlock. I painted them using Tamiya paints, airbrush. I prefer airbrushing over rattle cam paints because it gives you a better finish overall. And I just, uh, I just prefer airbrushing over rattle cans. You can never get the correct color. I know there'll be guys swearing that this color or that color is perfect, but to my, to me in my eye, I, 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 I drive myself nuts with these details and try to go the extra mile to get the colors correct. Anyhow, this is the, the Comlock. And currently it has, uh, these aren't the decals provided with the kit. These are actually on the side of the box and you could cut them out and uh, use them instead. And that's what I'm doing right now until the model, eventually this model will be lit and have function and whatnot. But right now, uh, this is the way it will be. And you could see the other images that you could use that were cut from the box simply by removing this top part and placing one of the cards on the bottom. You get the same effect. So there's the Comlock. And here is the stun gun, laser, again, airbrushed. Um, sliding switch works. This will also be getting an upgrade eventually. The aluminum parts with aluminum parts to replace these uh, chromed parts. For now, they're, they look good. Put it on the shelf and it'll look fine. But uh, I'm really looking forward to getting the aluminum replacements once, once they become available. And uh, this model will receive electronics and functionality to make it sound and light like it did in the series. So the selector switch can be removed and replaced with either the solid top piece, which was clearly evident in the early first season, or the uh, second season selector switch, which I'm not too thrilled about, so that's why it's over there. And here's these knobs. This is also for the second season. I haven't really done anything with them yet because I prefer the first season, which you see on the side of the laser itself. But anyhow, there it is. There are the two models. My review, great job, MPC Polar Lights. Thank you. Never thought we'd see these kits ever. Having said that, they are very simple to assemble, very quick build up. I had more fun doing the painting and detail painting that's going to require a little bit more time and the decal application, of course. Overall, great kit. Love it. So I realize some of you guys don't have access to an airbrush or, or, or use one. Uh, I would gently suggest they're really not that uh, difficult to uh, uh, acquire and an ability to do a good job. Intricate stuff, yes, that's going to take time, but basic airbrushing, uh, I would highly recommend it. Um, however, for those who currently do not, I, I want to help you guys out. So I checked out my, my paint supplies that I have, and I came close to uh, <clears throat> what you could get off the shelf if you can't, uh, if you don't have access to an airbrush or you don't really know how to use an airbrush yet. Uh, something you can look forward to in the future. Anyhow, for the Comlock, I suggest this. Light gray AS16 for the overall body color. The can is, uh, uh, the spray paint is a little lighter than my finish, but uh, it's the closest that I have in my current arsenal of, um, of spray paints to the finished product, so I thought I might be able to help you guys out with that. And for the for the stun gun, 
AS12, again, to me, to me, it paints. They're probably the best uh, spray paints you could get on the market. They're almost like airbrush in a can. Um, the AS12 Bell Bare Metal Silver would be ideal for your for your stun gun. I, again, I airbrushed them, and, and that's probably dead on. I don't. I, I can't even remember what I used to airbrush. I did the stuff on the fly because I'm working on multiple projects at once. But there you go. Hopefully, that'll help you guys out. For those who don't have uh, access to an airbrush or uh, don't want to airbrush, they're the closest colors that I can recommend uh, for your stun gun and comlock. Thanks again for stopping by. Enjoy your build.